We are now in week six of this whole remodeling series. If you have not watched week one through five, go back and watch that. I am remodeling, remodeling my home in California. It's a 1950s house uh, or a house that was built in 1950s. It is 812 square feet. And I'm just showing you week by week things that were completed upon are on my project so that you have a sense of what you should expect as you're going through your house remodel. I give numbers, some cost estimations so that you can kind of prepare and plan for your project. So this week, like I said, is week six. The most of the preparation for this week is trying to get driveway completed. Obviously the outside of the house done. You see that it has been skim coated which that's the first layer that they do before they start doing the rest of the house. I didn't get a lot of footage when I did the faux ship lap in my bedroom, but essentially what I did, it took half inch wood and then had those boards cut down to eight inch strips and then use a nail gun and then nail them up. The reason why I didn't film it is because that room is really dark. I did not have the LED lights installed in my master bedroom yet. I don't know, this whole thing of the shiplap is like really popular. I wanted to jump on the, the bandwagon with shiplap. So that was a project within itself. It took me a full day to do that. And then what I'm showing you in this clip, which you guys will see here in a second, is now they're finished with all of the mudding. They actually had to wait a couple of days to come back because it took a minute for the mudding to dry. And then they had to come back through and do another coat. But as you can see, the old drywall mixed with the new drywall is seamless. It looks the same. It doesn't even look like it was any difference. But the house looks transformed and looks really, really amazing. So the next step is obviously painting. That's a big thing. And then having the kitchen cabinets installed. So I bought all the cabinets from Home Depot. I just went online. This is Old Hickory, I think, what the name of the cabinets are called. I painted three walls and not uh, the fourth one because I knew I would be putting the Ikea Pax Closet system against that. This week, it's not a lot of work that was done, but it was. So we had the vanity installed. The vanity is actually a TV console. And so the sink basins that are sitting on top of the console are from, what is that place? Ikea. <laughs> so they're Ikea's basins and they were small enough that they could fit the depth of a TV console. The reason why I wanted a very narrow, narrow console in there or narrow vanity in there is because you want to give a, the illusion of more room in the bathroom than there is. That bathroom only had one vanity and the toilet used to face out. <laughs> as soon as you open the door, the toilet was facing you. And then the bathtub was off to the side. So the shower was moved so when you open up the door for the bathroom, you saw the shower, the beautiful shower and the vanity and then the toilet is over here in the corner. So you don't really see it or off to the left. But that is the big thing that's, you know, going on this week. The plumbing, all the fixtures were put in and it's starting to look like a real bathroom. I went with all brass uh, finishings for the house. I just thought that was very luxe and it did, uh, did something for me. I don't know what it did, but it did something for me. As you're seeing, we took all the covering off of the wood floor because I actually needed to start staining it coming up soon. So this right here is weed barrier. It started to do the driveway. So now I actually have a real driveway and that took the guys a long time. I felt really bad because the guy that came in, the granite guy, he was supposed to dump a little bit at a time and drive out of the driveway by dumping it all along the way. But for some reason, he just dumped big a big pile at the very beginning of the driveway and at the very end of the driveway. I don't know what that was all about, but and getting the cabinets in, which was a good thing. Um, I bought a slab from Uni in San Jose. Now I am not sponsored by anybody. Nobody's giving me any money. I wish. <laughs> But I was able to get my kitchen island, not kitchen island, but my kitchen countertop for $199. They have the worst customer service by far. Like they are the worst at customer service. However, they have the best damn prices in the Bay Area. So if you are looking 
and you are in this location, like if you're in San Francisco, whatever, Uni and San Jose, just know that you're going to go there and get the worst customer service ever. They're very, they rush you and they're not very patient, but the prices, nobody can beat them. No one could beat them. So I bought my kitchen um, countertop for $199 and then the kitchen island, I went back later on and I got that for, the kitchen islands were actually more expensive because of how wide they are. That one was five, five twenty or something like that. So either way, it was still cheaper. And I realized how cheap and how great of a deal that I got. Cause when I went and did my parents' house, I saw real prices and I was like, I didn't pay anywhere near that much. And so I got granted, originally I got marble, which was such a bad idea. So I went and got marble, I was all in love. And then my contractor was like, is, are you sure that's what you want? Do you know that marble is very, first, it's very porous. It's a very soft stone. So if you drop anything on it, it will crack. So I went back, I t returned it. If you go back within two weeks to the company that I bought it for, you can um, return it or exchange. So I did an exchange and got something a lot cheaper. What I almost forgot is going over the budget here. So the budget this week um, actually was a lot of stuff. I uh, paid for labor this week. I paid $27.60 and then I paid an additional $8.72 this week. And the reason why I had to pay two separate checks is because at the very beginning there was the carpentry guys came in. They did the um, baseboards um what else did they do they framed in all of the doors got all the doors put in front and back doors and all the interior doors they hung the barn door uh there was some other carpentry work that i for whatever reason i can't remember i think it was more so on the outside of the house and then obviously the uh, labor for them to do the driveway that was a big thing oh yeah we had to demo the carport this week as well and uh, we were waiting on the carport because I didn't want to tear down the carport because they were making a big deal. Like our the city was saying, don't take down the garage or carport until you're ready to work on it. And I wasn't going to be ready to work on the garage for <laughs> for a long time. So I didn't touch it. Um, so that's what we did this week. As far as closeouts, I closed out the plumbing this week. So it was $7,000 in total that I had to pay my plumber and end up closing that out. The electrical, I closed out this week. So we had inspection for both the plumbing and electrical. Um, I closed out the sheetrock, total of $6,000, like I said. Oh, interior and exterior uh, painting, to include painting the molding, that was $5,600. But I had to pay the towel and waterproof bathroom. So I had to pay those guys that did my titling. And that was uh, 32, 35, 20. And um, I did the tile in the bathroom floor, the tile in the kitchen floor, and the flooring in the rest of the house myself. The reason why I didn't feel comfortable in doing the bathtub or bathroom is that I've never worked with doing anything, not necessarily horizontal or vertical or whatever. It was the fact of the extra waterproofing and then once you waterproof the wall you're actually supposed to have like this like concrete thing going on up and you have to concrete the whole thing to make sure that there's no water that permeates it it was just it was an extra work that i wasn't comfortable doing so i did not do it the total amount of permits that i paid uh, was 23.70 so what else did we do oh ship lap for the bedroom I ended up paying 228 dollars for the material labor was me i had a miter saw and a nailer so again if you purchase and you invest in some of these tools you'll always use use the tools over and over and over and over again for all the house remodel projects i do a lot of home remodel so you got to figure out if it's worth you doing that for me it's worth it i've already paid for all of the i'll tell you how much i paid for the kitchen cabinets in total I paid $1,291.29 because like I have one, two, three, I have four cabinets in my kitchen. That's the reason why it was that cheap. <laughs> four cabinets. Again, my house is small, y'all. Like I don't have a lot of stuff. 
So that concludes week six. I hope that you enjoy, again, this format. Let me know. I'm almost thinking about like taking down week one through four and redoing it in this format. It depends. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think that's ridiculous. So anywho, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you liked it. And I hope that you got a lot from it. Please click that thumbs up and subscribe. See you week seven.